Hey girlies, young and older, not only is it okay to be alone, it's okay to want to be alone. So society tells girls that it's okay to be alone, but society doesn't tell girls it's also okay to want to be alone. Do you understand the difference? Because married people want non-married people to think that being married is the only way to go. And it's not true because, oh, you don't want to grow old and be alone. She then chewed, which is what you do when you're on camera and think, I'm not going to listen to that again. I bet married people can't sleep at night because they worry that you want to be alone or that you are alone. Also, since we're talking about it, the world doesn't care if you want to be alone or not. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see Single Woman Gets Rejected. Let's get started right away. Okay, let me just sit down and have a quick chat. One thing I cannot get behind is the narrative that like all men suck. There are many men in my life that I love dearly and that have never treated me poorly. And I think the narrative that a lot of women do have that men suck is just the worst energy to bring into like trying to meet people or just life in general. Mm -hmm. Like, no, the entire gender of men do not suck. I think it's more that you just haven't found the right one for you or you've had bad experiences. And I get it, like it makes everybody feel better when everybody's just like men suck, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I also think that brings such bad energy when you meet people, knowing that in the back of your head, you're discounting them already yep. just because of past experiences you've had, which can be valid in some situations. But for the most part, I think it's really beneficial to just go into every new situation or relationship or date with like no preconceived notions of men. Like let them be themselves and you can decide if you like them or not. But the I hate men energy is just like the worst energy to be around because right. they're just a hater and they love to complain. That's usually how that works. Pretty much. Bring the positive energy. Bring the energy that you are gonna find the right person that the man that you're gonna find is gonna be great. And like, you'll probably find it. Yes, of course because it's really reasonable to ignore hundreds of years of social problems and only judge guys based on how nice they are, right? If you can just wave a magic wand of good vibes, who needs background or real-life experiences? Clearly, it's all about keeping your rainbow-colored judgment even after a few small failures, like being disrespected or mistreated over and over again. Let's all put on our rose-colored glasses and act like every new guy is a perfect prince who hasn't been affected by what other guys have done. It's much more fun to live in a dream world than to face reality, right? The reason there are so many single men in their 30s is because they're not attracting high-quality women. High-quality women do not want a man that's going to be posting shirtless selfies. Nothing tells me that you are more insecure in who you are and desperate for validation than when you are walking around shirtless. That includes in your photos. That includes men going to the beach or to the pool with no shirt on. Not only that, but high-quality women are not going to want a man that's just showing his body for the entire world to see. High-quality women also do not want a man who is desperate to get married. If you are a single man and you are on the apps, it is unattractive to us high-quality women. Find a hobby and start doing things that actually make your life enjoyable and stop waiting for a high-quality woman to come and rescue you from your miserable existence. High-quality women also do not like men who are obsessed with sports. If you are a grown man and you are wearing another man's name on your shirt, that is a red flag. If all you and your friends do is get together and drink beer and just talk about different sports teams and how well they performed, that's cringe and that is not going to attract a high-quality woman. I know for sure that she is a high-quality woman, which is what I think she wants us to know. I also know that I am a high-quality woman. She tells you she is a good woman, so you know she is a good woman. I'm ready to bet anything that she is asking for a high-quality coffee for a high-quality woman, even when she goes to Starbucks. Do not drink that chai coffee mocha cappuccino over and over again. I'm a high-quality woman, so you should only serve me high-quality drinks. Should I have said that I'm a good woman before? As you may have forgotten, I am a very good woman. <laughs> I am a single woman, and I pay attention to the TikTok algorithm and all other social media sites and what it mm -hmm. markets to me. And all I see are videos of women who hate men and don't want to be with men anymore, who are Is choosing the bear, who want to be independent and love the single life and never want to be married. 
and I see videos of men who basically say the same thing about women. Mm -hmm. I see all these videos about how there's no point in marriage and the institution doesn't matter anymore. It's a social construct. And I am just, I'm just appalled by how it's, it's basically mind control. Social media yep. is mind control. And if you are not strong, set in your own personal values, you can be so easily manipulated and swayed by right. what this is showing you. Like, guys, come the f on. Are we really saying that we don't need men anymore? <laughs> that we don't value men? That That's they don't right. have no purpose? Yep. No, I'm old school. And just because I am unmarried and single doesn't mean that I want to be this way. No, I know that men have a role and they have a purpose and I wish I had a man in my life. Mm -hmm. And this is total how they're trying to keep us divided. They have completely broken down the family structure and it's all to make money. They want more women in the workforce, men in the workforce. They can charge you more taxes when you're single and not married. Um, it, it's, come on, guys. We got to stop playing into this. But get back to what matters and get back to family values and marriage. This is especially true for black families. Mm -hmm. They would love nothing more than to have fathers outside of the home. Mothers working ungodly hours just to be able to provide for their children. The basic Getting the legal system involved and forcing men to pay a certain amount of money. And now the parents are not cooperating and the children suffer. And then the children, they get to be raised by social media. And what does this do? Yep. It statistically too. places our children at higher risk of crime and being involved in the legal yeah. system and now guess what now they have slaves again because how do you even know how many things are built in this country and manufactured through privatized prisons mm -hmm. they want us to not love each other anymore guys and it is okay it is destroying us that sounds like something a lot of people say about marriage oh it doesn't make sense However, that is most likely because you don't know why or how to do it. When you give someone your all in a relationship, they break your heart or make things worse, and that's the end of it. Why should we ever agree with them? Marital relationship, on the other hand, is a promise of love, and it's meant to bring you together and help you grow. You help each other out and build each other up. A lot of people put me, me, me. The majority of the videos on this channel will likely be women saying me, me, me. On other channels, it might be guys saying me, me, me. Getting together with someone that way is not a good idea. If you do that, the rate of divorce will likely stay around 50%. I can't believe it isn't even higher, because when you set your sights on a shared goal, I hope that goal isn't to hurt people and take them out. If a man can't spend 75 or or $100 on a first date, he just shouldn't be dating. If a man wants to take you on a walk or go for coffee on the first date... <sighs> so real talk, how many cats do you own? It's all equality, equality, until it comes down to dating and money. You're honestly cooked if you think a guy's gonna drop $100 on every first date that he goes on. Women like you are the reason why men don't want to date anymore. I'm all for having confidence in yourself, but let's be logical here. Guys, avoid the women that have this mindset, please. I promise we're not all insane. I mean, a first date should be something simple, like coffee or a walk. The fact that women think they should be taken out to some five-star restaurant on a first date, not even knowing somebody, is absolutely insane. Why is this even worse? The first crazy person was talking about the year 2022. What she meant was guys who are still in school. They're still on the first job, even if they're not or didn't go to college. The minimum pay is what most young people make when they get their first job. It wasn't just about the first date, because I'm sure she'll get mad if you take her on a first date and spend $100 on her. If you even suggest coffee for the second date, she'll get mad and yell, bare minimum. I think I finally decided what to do with boys that piss me off, but desperately want to make it up to me. What's that? At first, my answer was no. You piss me off. I have a one strike rule. Mm. You're done. I don't have the patience for it. And therefore, I don't have the patience for you. 
But when a guy comes to you and says, I really want to make it up to you. All right. My curiosity gets the better of me. Like, what are we talking? <laughs> What's on the table? <laughs> and so I've decided I'm willing to hear people out. Unfortunately, many of the boys that I encounter are not creative individuals. Mm. And their idea of making it up to me is dinner and drinks. You had that opportunity for dinner and drinks already on the table. And you blew it. So if you want to get back into my good graces, the standards are a little bit higher. Okay. Last night, I was borderline blown off. And naturally, I was pissed off about it. This guy sent all of the apologies, and I wasn't really feeling it. Until he said, I would really like to make it up to you. Those are my new favorite words. <laughs> Because I get to text back, if you really want to get back into my good graces, we talk it? you'll take me to the zoo. <laughs> not many people know this about me, and certainly not the boys that I've only been talking to for a few weeks. But I'm an exhausting person to go to the zoo with. Some might say, impossible to go to the zoo with. I correct zookeepers. I get a map, and I plan all of the exhibits that I want to go to. Wow. I have live feeds of half of the exhibits that are being broadcasted on their zoo specific app. And if the pandas wake up halfway through us looking at another exhibit and we're on the opposite side of the zoo, we're running to the panda exhibit, so not walking. Torture them. If there's fish, you'll hear at minimum 102 fish facts that you nor anybody in the vicinity really wanted to hear. We will plan our entire zoo day around all of the live action shows, and we will go to every single one of them. And if we have time before the zoo closes, we will be going to visit exhibits more than once rather than calling it a day. So I have decided that the zoo is my <laughs> new gauntlet for guys who decide they want to piss me off. If this is how you feel about it, then what are you doing out there? I get that you want to give someone a chance to make things right, but why? What do we have to do outside? She did give you another chance, though. You lied to her. You did not care about her. That's better. She's giving herself a second chance. So value it however you see fit. If you like this show, click like to let other people know. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Come back to this page to see more videos of people running into walls.